everyone, it's Carrie. I wanted to share with you some of the uh, Rolodex cards that I've received so far from the Rolodexing with my homies group over at Your Paper Pantry. It's a new group starting in June. It started in June, and we had a lot of response from it, so there's over 40 people signed up for it. So I'm going to just break it up into groups instead of just go through all 40 of them. Um, so I'll show you the first ones that I've received. Uh, this one is from Natalie Watkins. It's really cute. Got little scissors right here. And a little uh, corset over here. Really cute. And in, a, in our swap, we asked if you want to, you can include your um, name and address and your you know YouTube uh, channel and all that, your blog, on a separate piece of paper, you know, with this, the card so that um, we can keep the swap going in case you get a duplicate person you know you can you can write somebody else's address on it instead of having two of the same person but you still you know still can get their cards so that's Natalie's and then I wanted to show you the card that she sent me it's really cute very 4th of July festive and then she sent me these trims too really cute so thank you for that, Natalie. And then the next one is from uh, Loretta Roger. This is her. She stamped an image. And then she made like a little shrinky dink flower here. I think she has a video of hers on there on uh, YouTube also. And then she made me this hostess gift. It's really I never thought of it, but it's a great idea. It's a little post-it note holder and it's made out of a little acrylic picture frame so the picture frame would normally go this way well she put the post-it notes on it so it sits like this and you have the little post-it note pad and then over here if you slide it out is a little calendar how cute is that so that just slides into the where the picture would go so that is so cute thank you so much Loretta it sits right on my desk so the next one is from Lugene and this is the one that she did. She got some die cut and a little Tim Holtz flower. And then this one is from Audrey Hannaford. She's got a nice mix of stuff on here. Stick pen, flower, cute, another uh, Tim Holtz flower. And this one is from Stacey Ann. This is her Rolodex card. I'm not sure what she punched it out of. It's really cool, like leathery looking stuff. So really vintagey looking. And then the next one is um, from Stephanie Johnson. She did really patriotic ones for hers. And she did a bunch of, they're all different. But this is one of them. And then she also sent me some hostess gifts. Um, she sent me these. Um, <laughs> she used like the, the uh, reverse of her um, where she punched out her Rolodex cards on this piece of uh, cards uh, chipboard. Ugh, I'm tongue-tied today. And then she used that to put her stick pins in that she sent to me as a hostess gift. And then she also made these. They're so cute. Little popsicles. And she used popsicle sticks. And then die cut them out. They're really cute. They're painted. And they're cute little faces. And then she also sent me... Let me get it. I have it hanging up, so... Sorry about that. She sent me this little hanging. It is adorable. It says let freedom ring. And then it's a little Liberty Bell. So cute. I have it hanging up already. And then it's got like this little wire. I wish I could show it hanging up, but it's really adorable. Let me see if I can scan out a little bit. So thank you so much for that. It's adorable and it's hanging up in my my scrapbook room. Okay, so that's those. And then the last one I'll show you that I have so far is my own. It's very flat. Not very many embellies on it. Uh, I just uh, did an embossing folder on this sparkly paper and then die cut out this little dress with my Cricut and a little Tim Holtz hanger. And then it says, girls just want to have fun. 
and then on the back I put my information in like a little file folder that I cut out. So that's mine. So that's for the oops, sorry, Rolodexing with my homies over at yourpaperpantry.ning.com. And then I'll go ahead and show you my um, swap for the um, the matchbox swap that we did with Dawn. It was beach or um, pearl as the theme. She, each month she has a, a different theme and then a different gemstone. So you can either choose to do the theme or the gemstone. And I kind of did a play on both. I have a big giant pearl back here and a little tiny um, sand dollar and a little tiny starfish. And then I used some like, burlap here for the netting. And this is the side. I just used um, the little wooden spools for my, my feet. And then I put this tab on it because these things are really hard to open. And I'm always afraid I'm going to break it. So I put this little ribbon tab on it. It makes it a little easier to, to pull out. And I filled it with, with goodies for my partner, Tina. So I'm going to get that out in the mail to her tomorrow. That's a really, really fun new group at your paper pantry, the Popular Art popular art. It's uh, kind of just a mix of, you know, what's fresh and happening right now and in our little crafting circle. So we're trying to, you know, mix it up and put something different in all the time. Next month we have the matchbox swap with, um, with Dawn, but we're also going to have the cigar box swap where you alter the cigar box and fill it up with goodies for your partner. So, you know, it just kind of changes each month 